What do dog treats, toys, eggs, and compost have in common? They are all lucky finalists in Intuit's competition to win a 30-second commercial during this year's Super Bowl. Over 100 million Americans are expected to tune in to the Super Bowl this year. What will the ad do for the lucky small business winner? Bill Rancic, an entrepreneur himself, is moderating the competition. He joins us now. Thank you for coming back with the finalists. Thank you. Thank you One for of them me. involves poop. I don't even want to touch <laughs> that. What, who, what well, is this company? Th this is called Dairy Poop. Okay. And they have a great slogan. Their slogan is, Oops, I Pooped My Plants. Nice. Three guys. They're all related. Uh, two of them were out of work. And over a couple of beers, they said, well, what can we do? They, they live near a dairy farm. And they took the byproduct of the cows and they made byproduct. Nice. odorless, like the way you say that. Uh, odorless fertilizer. How is it odorless? I mean, don't open it. Don't prove it, it to me. I don't, I don't know don't how they do it, you, but, it, but I swear it's odorless. So. Okay. And, uh, and so they're trying to sell this online? They or are they... selling it on. They're selling it in stores. Okay. Uh, obviously, they want to get the commercial because... With that commercial, I'm sure Home Depot and Ace Hardware and everyone will carry their products, you know. And, and so did you guys pick them for the final just because it's so funny to say what they are? I, you or? Know, it was the, the 8,000 uh, employees at Intuit who voted. And that's they how thought they it was it so funny and they wanted I, to see they, a I mean, commercial for poop during the Super Bowl. It's a good business. Yes. I mean, the, the tomato gardens, from what I hear, are, are never growing as well as they've done before. <laughs> as so. they have before. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Give me one more. Okay. So we've got that one. We've got, uh, this is a company called Locally Laid. Okay. It's a guy who got downsized in corporate America, decided to open up a, uh, an egg farm where it's all locally laid eggs. He got three mortgages on his home. Wow. He and his wife are doing it and, and the brother. And they're working, you know, 100 hours a week, and they're at max capacity. So the American dream right here. So they're at maximum capacity. They're free-range, healthy eggs. That's the big sale they're Lower on that in cholesterol, one. lower in fat. Okay. Yeah. And, and the folks at Intuit thought we got to give these guys a go. Uh, the, I mean, you know, Intuit employees voted. Yeah. And now it's up to America. So we've got the four finalists. America gets to vote. I love it. Tell me about the doggy treats. I don't have a dog, but I'm still fascinated by this, this product. This is a good one. Um, uh, it was a, a couple. They're dating. They're living together. The boyfriend was brewing beer at home. <laughs> right. And he had all this spent barley. Wait, wait, some... wait, wait. He was br brewing beer at home? <laughs> I, I don't, I I've never done it. But, <laughs> right. I mean, you know, in Raleigh, Durham, that's okay. a big thing, I guess. Like I don't in know. the bathtub? In or... the bathtub. Yeah, really? you, you make it at home. And, okay. And there was all the spent barley, and the dog loved of the barley so of course he did was just, the dog drunk all the time the, no the, the, i guess there's no alcohol in the in the spent barley so okay uh they're actually edible by humans because it's all mm. natural uh, i'll let you try I, i've that. had some people try them but a uh, great company i went and visited their home they work out of their house she quit her job wow. again life savings on the line they're all in on this and so is he still brewing beer in the tub, and that's how they're no. coming up with this? Now no, it's gotten a little bigger. They're than going that. to a local brewery, and the brewery's giving them the spent barley. Wow, not yeah. for long. I mean, once they have the commercial and they're making a lot of money, I, I mean, think that brewery's going to say, we know, want a little cut of this pay or up. something. you got to pay up. Absolutely. Tell me about this last okay, one. Okay, this is uh, Goldie Blocks. It's okay. a, a young lady. She was um, getting her engineering degree, and she said, you know, I want to create a game that helps young girls get encouraged yeah. to go into engineering because all the toys right now for young girls are dolls and you know right. bake baking things and this is a, a game that's going to help propel girls into the field into of engineering math and science and engineering yeah. that kind of stuff that's neat i mean it's it's all very interesting they're funny i could see how they would all make good ads because there's something funny about all of them which mm -hmm. is what makes a good ad they are small businesses so you have to wonder about the exposure of having a super bowl commercial like can they really handle the volume that well, might come in as a result. And that's the great thing about the folks at Intuit, and, and Brad Smith, the CEO in particular, he is committed to seeing them succeed. We are going to put a team together okay. to help guide them, to help shape them, to make sure that they can really take advantage of this opportunity. Well, we can't wait to see who wins and what the ad is like. Thank you for showing that to us. Let, I want to hear get some great commercial concepts now from our money marketing guru, Bruce Turkel. Uh, he's bringing his expertise to bear on this one. What did you think? What jumped out at you? What ad is spinning in your brain right now? Well, you know, those names, I love, I love all of them. I got to tell you, the one about the organic dog treats. Oh, yeah. That, talk about a first world problem. I mean, my dog's favorite place to get a snack is the cat's litter box. So <laughs> no, no, it's pretty I think, clear. I think you're confused. Using two of the items there. Yeah. But, uh, barley, the barley is like the spent barley from beer. The, the, the poop related item was the fertilizer. Well, the poop one I love, but we'll get to that one in a <laughs> okay. second. I mean, I just love this idea of selling dog treats made out of, of barley made from beer. And I can just see a great ad where we show a commune and we show a bunch of cool 
dogs, well, hippie dogs walking around, you know, nice. shooting each other the peace sign and uh, having these great snacks because they got the munchies because they've been eating this, this barley. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a good ad. I love that one. Okay, what do you think? What else do you, jumps out at you as a good possible ad? Well, you got you to gotta love odor-free poop. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't have the whole litter box problem if I had the whole odor-free poop thing working. Right. Um, and I love that one, too. I think you can do great stuff with that. This one, you can really hit the heartstrings of Americans because we love to see the tra travails of farmers. So you do a day in the life. You show how hard it is for a farmer getting up at the break of dawn, milking the cows, back-breaking work. But we've reduced one of the problems. You can cut to the farmer. He can take the clothespin off his nose because we have <laughs> odor-free fertilizer. I love that. That is, that's great. All right, give me one more. We've got time for one more. How about the okay, eggs? Okay, well, I got to tell you, when I heard locally laid, I was thinking about businesses near my office, but they got nothing to do with uh, <laughs> chickens or eggs or the breakfast. Part. Yes. But, yeah, exactly. But, but basically what you're doing here is you're running a spa for chickens. You have all these chickens that are in this great environment, and they're laying in the sun. I mean, we do lots of work in the tourism industry. We could take some of that footage, just replace the people on the beaches with chickens. We could have a lot of fun with that. I, I love that. I love your ads. They're all fantastic. I'm Thank sure they're going to steal them. Um, but you say, you know, this is not necessarily a home run for these companies. A little bit what I was worried about. All of a sudden, they're on a national stage. It could backfire. Of course. I mean, let's be honest. Intuit is doing this because it's good for Intuit. The message it puts out there is that we care about small businesses. We make a difference in small businesses. We can help you grow your business. But think about these businesses. I mean, let's paraphrase David, David Ogilvy, the advertising legend, because what he said was nothing can, can hurt bad products faster than good advertising. Now, I'm not suggesting these products are bad, but how do they have the distribution? How do they have the production capacity? What are they going to do with a $2.7 million Super Bowl ad? Wouldn't they right. be better taking that money and putting it for paid search? Wouldn't they be better putting that money on Facebook and on Google Plus and the places where people could find them? It just seems to me that even though they love it, and come on, let's face it, who wouldn't want to be on the Super Bowl? Right. If you were spending my money doing the most efficient, effective buy, I'm not sure that's what I would be doing. Well, maybe that. maybe the, the real thing is they get the big investor. They get on well, and they see that and they true. get the that person that happen. wants to invest and take them to the next level. Anyway, it's going to be very interesting to watch. Those were great ads, Bruce. Thank you so much. And, Bill, thank you to you thank as you, well. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Bill.